Hi guys, how are you? Welcome to this week's video. Today I have something quite exciting to share with you. So this arrived yesterday on the mail. This is sort of a keypad to go with Procreate and this is done by Pen Tips. This is not sponsored, I did reach out to them and I was part of this like campaign where artists get to try this. So that's all and I will also have a code for you in the end of the video. Carry on watching to get that code in the end. Getting straight to it, looking at it, it looks very nice. The, the packaging looks very nice quality and it has all the technical specifications, all the images. This is a glossy finish, the pad thing here, also Procreate and it has a bunch of information here in the back flow through your creative process on your ipad and with two full charge with a full charge in less than two hours which i'll have to charge right before i try it you can create for a day and a half straight without blinking but please blink at least once <laughs> please instead of doing like the whole gestures that you do for your ipad i do a lot the one that you can flip the images or you can copy paste i use those a ton you can just click this so i'm quite curious so it's bluetooth connection Premium materials, high grade ABS and zinc metal. I got this little card here and also was checking out their website. You plant a tree with every order. So, yeah, in Madagascar and Tanzania. So with every order, a plant, a tree is planted, which is always quite nice. This review is going to be a bit different because I want to give this a throughout review. So I'm going to unbox this and maybe give it a bit of a week, two weeks. And I'm going to be vlogging throughout those weeks whilst I'm using it. I just want to test it the best that I can. So this just slides. have some tape here. See if I can use this. I don't, I don't want to get up to get my... Aha, I can. I didn't want to get up to get my box cutter. Do you slide just easily? Yes. Ooh. Ooh. I like the buttons. Hello, I'm Penpad. Cute. Turn me on, go on your Bluetooth settings and tap my name. See you in Procreate. Cool. Okay, so the packaging is very, very nice. It's all cozy up in there and the buttons sound pretty nice. Quite like the buttons and they have sort of a um, grippy texture, like in the, the button itself. Quite impressed with it so far. Taking it out has a little like elevation so it's like yeah it's like that and i chose the white you can choose black or white but i just like the look of the white it's quite slim in fact on and off button here is probably where you charge it need a hand scan me for sheet sheet and the cable should be here oh oops should i have done that I don't know, probably not. <laughs> Oopsie. Didn't mean to rip up the box. My bad. And yeah, we have a cable, which is USB-C to USB-C. So I can actually kind of, I can actually charge this on my computer, which is nice. At least my, my laptop, I just actually just got a like big computer the other week because I really needed the extra power to edit and just get working on other projects. So quite excited for that. I think I can actually start charging it now. Just see. Okay, so this goes here. I'm gonna just charge it on my computer right next to me. And it's charging. Cool. So red light is on. So it should have a full charge in two hours. Let's see how that goes. I'm going to let this charge. I have two cons in well markets one's a con one is comic con in december one is pardal so i want to i'm working on basically new merch i'm going to have pretty much all new merch so that's something i'm working on so i've been digital drawing pretty much every single day so that's going to be handy i'm going to let this charge and i'll talk with you guys in a second don't mind the mess i was just filming the last week's video for this guys and i think it actually is done charging so Let's turn it on. Yes, it is on. So in theory, it should be as simple as doing the Bluetooth on my iPad. Okay, it's on Bluetooth mode. I just pressed and pen pad. Here it is. Okay, that was actually pretty simple. <laughs> 
so it's all connected now. Here on the screen are all of the gestures, and so we have stuff like hue, saturation, brightness, color balance, full screen, layers, selections, undo, redo, transform, unsettle, unselect, erase, paint, switch colors, color, decrease brush, high brush, eyedropper, which I use a lot, paste, copy, cut, and the pen tips plus the decrease um, does one per set. So let me see. Yeah, <laughs> look at that, it's doing it. It's doing it right there. So full layers is showing the layers. And it's actually pretty quick response time. It's almost immediately hue saturation. Okay, let me do something. Okay, Hue saturation it shows up here. Color balance, <laughs> this is actually really cool. Full screen, I barely use that actually. Redo and redo. Okay, this is really cool. Um, okay, this is select, deselect, unselect. Okay, actually the unselect is not doing anything rather than just doing select. So let's see about that. This is switch colors and it's going to a darker one. <laughs> okay, this is pretty cool. And eyedropper. Let me see if I'm painting. How does eyedropper work? Like, see, I'm painting, I'm painting, eyedropper. How does eyedropper work in this case? Because for eyedropper, I usually just hold. Wait, how do I do eyedropper? Yeah, I just hold it. And that's eyedropper. In this case, I have to hold both. Um, okay, maybe I should, because I have to be selecting something for eyedropper. Huh, how does eyedropper work? I'm actually not sure how to use the eyedropper. I might actually have to try and look that up. I don't usually add stuff here because I barely access this, but since it's a quick menu, I might actually start putting actions here because I usually do this one a lot for like cut and paste. But yeah, since I have those actions here now, I might cut layer, copy layer, paste layer. Okay, so cool. And yeah, I might actually start adding actions here since I have it here. This one might actually be quite handy, just switching between eraser and paint. That is quite handy. I'm pretty impressed with it. It's very quick to set up and the buttons feel very, very nice. So far, the only issue I'm having is with the eyedropper uh, tool because I'm not really understanding how to use it, but I'll do my research and I'll check back with you guys while I'm using it. Just woke up as you can very much probably tell. I have been using this little guy since last night and I'm pretty happy with it. It is very, very nice. It fits super nicely here with my setup. I just have my board that I did a video about a few ages ago. So basically I just have it here and I just have my hand here while I draw. I've been working on some more Sakura cards and this one was the one that I was kind of working yesterday. Still don't love it, still needs a lot of work. And then I started working on this one very in the beginning been using it pretty much the whole time sometimes i do go into pilot mode and i just rest my head on my hand and i forget to use it but i'm trying really hard to get used to using it other than that all of these have been pretty helpful i really like the quick menu and i pretty much customize it to what i need like a text alpha lock quite enjoy it so far so very strong beginning It's been maybe two months after that unboxing and I just wanted to talk to you guys about this little device. I was going to call it guy. <laughs> so basically I've been using it for two months now 
and it took me a while to get used to it it definitely took me a while to insert it in my routine but basically once i did i kind of miss it when i don't have it now. i find myself looking for it quite a lot but talking about the deciding device itself it's quite durable even though i would call it light but for what it is it is quite heavy it has a nice weight to it i have run out of charge maybe two times in these two months it automatically turns off if you don't use it for a long time but it's like in idle the keys are i just love the sound of the keys if i could have a keyboard that sounded like this i would get it because that this is my preferred like noise <laughs> i really really like it there's only one the bigger one that sounds like a space bar a key <laughs> But I really, really like it so far. There was something that I needed to do to make the eye, the eyedropper tool work for me, but I'll I'll share it with you guys because it was quite simple. But I definitely needed to customize it a little bit. But they let you know immediately in the package that you might have to do this for your eyedropper tool. Some iPads work straight away. Some need some tweaks so this one was my case for how to get the eyedropper tool to work you have a QR code right here that lets you basically see how you do it this happens because their pen pads only work under american english input method keyboard so mine in case it's in european portuguese so that probably why it didn't work so if you go to that QR code it basically has a full manual of your pen pad also has a little list I'll put it here on screen of all the of what all the keys do so that was pretty helpful even though they are pretty clear with the little icons that are on the keys you go to our iPad and let me grab the cheat sheet so basically we need to go to gesture gestures control that is in preferences gesture gesture controls <laughs> cannot say that but. and we go to the eyedropper tool bit and we tap square plus apple pencil so i didn't have that and you can do that with like just your normal if you press like this button here it basically does the same that using the keypad but that is if you're using your left hand and i like to have my brush coarser here like getting bigger and density on this side because I can just like my pencil naturally just travels more rather than going this way so this is pretty much my review on the pen pad they were out of stock for a little bit that's why kind of my review was also a bit delayed but in fact it was actually pretty nice because it gave me more time to get to know this little guy I really enjoyed it and I definitely will be using it on my day-to-day -day. if you like this review and you want to try it for your own I do have a code that gives you 5% off which is be a 5 off and you can also use my my affiliate link down below so yeah, my final review is that this guy is pretty nifty and very, very effective. I don't really have anything bad to say about this guy. I had zero issues with it. It was very easy as well to put the eyedropper to working for me. And they have everything very well explained on the sheet sheet slash manual. It has little grippies on the back as well. To make sure that it does not slide around. So it's just very well thought out and very well built. And... I don't know, all the keys work great, the only key that doesn't always work for me is the deselect tool and it hasn't really stopped me either way, so I barely notice it, so I really, really just enjoy it. It maintained, it maintains very clean even though it's white, I have been putting my grubby little hands on it every single day and I'm quite a messy person, so it's pretty clean. I hope you enjoyed this review, I definitely had lots of fun trying this out and it, I wouldn't say I'm like incredibly faster but i am definitely faster and just more flowy for me the biggest thing is like the eyedropper tool because how i do it i just hold my finger a little bit and then it just kind of automatically does it but it takes a, a little second and with this it's pretty much automatically and i know i could just go for the button the square button that's on the menu for the brushes but like i mentioned it's on my right side and then my left hand would have to go across it's just small details that do make the final experience quite nicer <laughs> i don't know why i just like also the feel of it it's very like nice to touch <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this review and this video do let me know in the comments do you see yourself using this have you used this let me know your experience with it i would love to see and to know and if you have any questions that i didn't mention in this video also drop them down below i'll try my best to reply to them and see if i can help you with any questions that you have 
Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe. We reached 3000 subscribers on this channel and I just wanted to say thank you. It's been a journey on this little channel. We are quite small, but I don't know. I like, I like our little channel. It's very nice. You guys are always the sweetest. I very much appreciate everyone that's here from the beginning and also anyone new. Hi, how are you? I hope you enjoy my little silly videos. <laughs> Don't forget, you can use my code BIA5OFF if you want to try this little guy, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys!